Without the switch in place, the gene of interest, in this case EGFP, is expressed constitutively. RNA polymerase binds in the gene's promoter, and the gene is transcribed into mRNA. Then, a ribosome translates the mRNA into green fluorescent protein, or GFP. To begin regulating expression, the LAC-I gene was inserted into the DNA. LAC-I encodes the LAC repressor protein. This protein binds to strategically placed introns upstream of the EGFP gene. As they bind, they prevent the passage of RNA polymerase and thus the transcription of the gene. In other words, this component blocks expression at the pre-transcriptional level. This results in a significant decrease in GFP expression. However, this component alone was not sufficient to completely stop expression. Sometimes polymerase gets past the LAC-I repressors and mRNA is transcribed. This is called leakiness. To reduce leakiness, an RNAi module was inserted into the switch. This module produces short hairpin RNA, or SH RNA. In order to function as a regulator, its head is first cleaved off, then the resulting double-stranded SI RNA binds an argonaut to form an RNA-induced silencing complex, or RISC. Finally, the SI RNA strands separate to activate the risk, and the complex binds to a complementary sequence that was strategically placed in the 3' untranslated region of the target mRNA. Once bound, the mRNA is degraded. This reduces leakiness and results in near-complete silencing of GFP. To enable a switch-like functionality, the small molecule IPTG can be applied to the system. IPTG induces a conformational change in the LAC repressor protein, rendering it incapable of binding to the target site upstream of the EGFP gene. This allows polymerase to pass and transcribe EGFP. In other words, it turns expression on. IPTG cannot completely turn on expression because the RNAi module is still active. To complete the switch, a TetR module was added to inhibit the RNAi module. Much like LAC-I, it encodes repressor proteins that are targeted to a region upstream of the RNAi gene. They prevent the transcription of shRNA, and the result is increased GFP expression. The TetR module was also given a LAC repressor binding site in order to render the entire switch controllable with IPTG.